full moon on Friday the 13th. That's cool stuff right there. Hi, moon. You can see the face in it. It's the man in the moon. Good morning, friends. I gotta say, it's been quite a week. What's going on in her mind? <laughs> a poop heavy. He's so weird. What you making, Betty? Donuts. Donuts? Wow. Where'd you get the recipe? Internet. Cool. You want to see him cook him? Yeah. Ooh. Save me one, okay? I can't eat it, but, like, I want to see it. Okay. I'll be back in a little while. Hey, friends. So, <clears throat> it's Saturday, and look at that. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going on a grand adventure. But let's talk about this week from hell. So I left you off last weekend talking about how I wanted to read more during the week. And I didn't get my lawn mowed, but that was okay. I would just do it tomorrow. And you notice that two-hour uncharacteristic nap. Um, well... That was a harbinger of the week to come, okay? So, Monday I woke up still super sleepy for some strange reason to be disclosed. And it was fine. It was fine. I was a little unfocused at work. Um, and then I got home and I just powered through and mowed the rest of the yard and even trimmed my fence line. Spoiler alert, I shouldn't have done any of that. I felt a little bit nauseous when I got done, but I just thought I'm overheated because it's really blazing hot here in the south right now. No, no fall going on yet for us. Um, it's, it's actually the hottest point of the summer for us right now. So, yeah. I was fine. I was fine, really. Tuesday, I woke up. I felt like normal. And I went to work. And I went through my day. And I finished seeing my last kid at 1.45. And I was starting to feel a little not perfect, you know. But no biggie. <sighs> I went to my room. I started working on lesson plans for the next week. And by 3 o'clock... I felt a pounding headache coming on and I don't get headaches either. Um, oh my goodness. So I like three 30 it's time to time to leave. I, by this point, no, I'm not going to make it home. I'm feeling tremendously horrid. I go to the dollar general to, um, get some ibuprofen cause like, I don't get sick. I don't keep drugs. So, by the time I go in the store, buy the ibuprofen, come out, I'm trash. And I'm calling my chiropractor because I got a 4.30 appointment and there's no way anybody's touching me. On the phone with the chiropractor, he's like, oh, it's okay. Do you want to reschedule now or um, call me back? I'm like, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I just have to go. I have to go. Went behind the DG and puked up my guts, people puked up my guts. It just came out of nowhere. Came on fast. I managed to drive home, laid down in the bed. <sighs> Ironically, the little Siamese had puked on my bed that night, and so I had washed my comforter that morning. It was out drying. I'm laying there just pitiful zone and had to, you know, Gabriel... Can you get me a sheet? <laughs> uh, so I took a three hour nap, woke up, got ready for bed and slept the night away. Stayed home the next day um, because, you know, I feel like if you throw up behind the Dollar General, you deserve a prize. I actually felt fairly, you know, pretty good 
it was a quick bug, I guess. And I hope I'm not boring you with my, you know, illnesses. Um, yeah, felt pretty good. Thursday, I woke up with the eye. So, <laughs> really red, really red, not puffy, but really red. And I'm like, hmm, what is that? And we know I had the, you know, itchiness going on from two weekends ago when I suspected my uncle's farm might have been the culprit. So, yeah, dealt with that all day Thursday. Friday, I woke up with, like, somebody hit me puffy eye along with the continued itching. Talked to the nurse at school, emailed, you know, mug shots to my sister, who's a nurse and a wound care specialist, and they both said I probably needed to go get a steroid shot. So, I ended my day yesterday um, getting a shot in my butt. Let's be real. Let's be real. So, it's better today. It's like hardly itching and it was still really swollen when I woke up. But, you know, um, it goes down over the course of the day. And I think by tomorrow I'll be good. So, yeah. So, today when I get home from my grand adventure, I have to... Um, Deal with the poison ivy growing on my fence line. Yes. Yes. My neighbor is going to confirm that that's what it is, but I'm pretty sure I found the culprit. So we'll be dealing with that later. But for now, <gasps> I am going to purchase the golden eggs. Yes. I don't know if you guys know. Oh my God. I've been talking for six minutes now. For real. Anyway. I don't know if you guys know, but Duck's Newberry Port is sold out everywhere. And uh, it's saying one to two months before the reprint. Uh, crazy, right? So yesterday when I took the kid to the gym, uh, I didn't work out because I had a shot in my butt. You know, again, I deserve a prize for this. Um, so, yeah, I went to the Books a Million right there. And, of course, they didn't have it. They didn't even know how to spell it. Um uh yeah but I called a couple I called Ann Patchett's bookstore Parnassus they were sold out and I had a just a delightful chat with the salesman about the Booker Prize much better than the big box store um but then I looked online and found a couple other independent bookstores in the area that sold new books and the next one I called has four copies so I'm going to buy copies for me and Heidi and Will. When I called, it was 5.45 and they closed at 6. And it is now 9.15 and they open at 10. So surely they have not lost at least three of the four copies in that 15 minute time frame. Because I'm going to get there when they open. So let's go. There's our little friends having their breakfast. Neighborhood Rite Aid because your girl doesn't parallel park. How cute is this? There it is. Books and book nerds. In winter, it's a snow cloud. And on hot summer days, just park it by the pool. A small dog and every bit of stone. He lived with his Sarah high above honking taxis and growling trash trucks and shrieking cars. And the number 11 bus, which travels. Oh, goodness, there's a sequel. Now I think I'll use patronizing the Rite Aid as an excuse to buy junk. What can I say? I like what I like. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice and floppy. Oh, sounds so good. Can't wait. Yay. The golden egg. The goose that laid the golden egg. <laughs> and of course, I could not resist this. And it is so very cute 
Oh yeah, there's the one I was looking for. <laughs> and look at the holiday ones. Where's, ooh, look at Halloween and Christmas. Oh, this is so cute. Happy day. And I got this. It's kind of, I think, a memoir. Uh, naturalist and set in Nashville so yay good haul and I forgot to mention the free sticker and bookmark can't believe I'm here again take me back to the country where I belong home Whew. and I forgot to show you this one I, well, I forgot myself but I remembered this one has um, art by the author's brother so, yay. Cool. This look awesome. Yeah, they came out really good. You have to make some uh, gluten-free ones next time. That'd be good. They might need a little, I think they need more cinnamon. Yeah, I can't resist. Nine pounds of books right there. Woohoo! That's pretty funny right there. What is? Pika's watching me. Watching you do what? Nothing. It's just staring at you. He just sit outside looking in. Like we're at the zoo, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're in the last sunbeams. Mm-hmm. I think TT enjoys that smell like steak. I think you're right. <laughs> hey guys, I thought I should tell you what I'm reading real quick. And I'm going to make it really quick since I went on so long in that opening clip. But yeah, I um, lost the audiobook to Crossroads of Twilight by Robert Jordan. So I'm going to have to physically read the last two or 300 pages of this. So... I don't know if I'll get to that this week. It's not a priority, but I did want to mention that I started a new audio book. It is The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. Um, contemporary romance. So far, so good. Uh, I've been DNFing a lot of contemporary romances for various reasons in the last couple months, but you know, hopefully this one will be a winner. And other than that, I, I do still have the Bee Quest. Like I said, I'm not getting much read during the week. So, um, I don't know. I probably have less than 100 pages of this one. Yeah. So, fingers crossed there. And then the rest of these are the Buddy Reads. So, just quickly, uh, What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours by Helen Oyeyemi. Britta and I are just reading two short stories a week in here. Um, Fraulein Schmidt and Mr. Anstruther. Um, I'm reading this with Mel and Ange and Mel just checked in and she's finished. So I may try to finish this one this evening. And then uh, Lost Children Archive by Valeria Luiselli. This one I'm reading with Adam from Memento Mori and Valentina. And um, Heidi from My Reading Life. And yeah, I'm almost to the next check in. I'm going to try to get to the next check in at least. This one was supposed to be done today, but I don't think everybody else has done it either. And then The Warmth of Other Suns by Isabel Wilkerson. This is brilliant. I just want to keep saying that every time I show you the book until I finish it and afterwards. This is brilliant so now i am going to i think um i want to go film some of the late summer wildflowers down the road and then run to the dg for a few things no puking no puking let's go <laughs> I think if you don't live in the South, you don't realize that the summer has two seasons. June and July, and then September, 
August and September. And we have a completely different set of flora for those last two months. A lot of, I'm trying to catch this. There's a swallowtail over there. Ah, oh, this is milkweed. It's uh, not bloomed yet. Milkweed keeps coming on all summer long, different varieties, but all of this, uh, how beautiful is that? All of this purple is, I think, ironweed, and then this yellow that's not quite bloomed out yet is goldenrod. People tend to be highly allergic at you to the goldenrod. Look at all these grasshoppers too. I just love it. <sighs> okay. I should probably go to the store now. I left my car parked precariously. Ooh. Bumblebee. Spot guy. Is that the good box? Yep. <laughs> this is the look of disgust. You're catching a sunbeam, boo. Catching it real good. Baby girl. So pesses. Making progress. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta keep breeding. What are you doing, guy? I hope you aren't making messes. Are you supervising up there? Guy. What? You think I'm talking to you? Is your name Guy? I think your name is Boo. So cute, baby. Pico! Pico de Gallo! You think that's a good idea? <laughs> oh, <AJ. laughs> oh my gosh, there's a fly in here. So annoying, Guy. Oh my gosh. Got skills, guy. Got mad skills. Okay, this quote has me all wanting to read this book, but I cannot find it. So I'm assuming it has a different title. Anybody know a book called Feral by Robert McFarlane? Please hook me up because. That is profound. <laughs> oh my god. Look at her. <laughs> She's like, that's not what I want. I don't want the snuggles. I want the mac and cheese. <laughs> Here, TT. TT! TT! Oh yeah. Hey guys! I finished three books yesterday. I'm so happy. And two of them were buddy reads. So yay! I'm gonna try to go ahead and film a little wrap up before work. So I'll hopefully tell you more about them tomorrow and the eye is still looking a little funky but i did not have to use the ice pack this morning so i think we're on the comeback trail anyway fingers crossed that third time's the charm with september and this is the week that i have weekday productivity <laughs> anyway i hope your week is off to a great start and i will be back soon bye yes this is the poison ivy. My neighbor.
fever is going to douse it with poison and we hopefully will eradicate it. Oh, it's a vicious, vicious plant.